Well, I was the lead teacher and I invited the Linnaean in. Um, it's the first time we've done it. Um, we had the most amazing time. The staff who came in were excellent. The children really enjoyed it. It was well organised and we didn't have to do anything except host it, so highly recommended. I think it's actually made them engage more with animals and ecology. Um, our boys are very much urban boys and quite often when you're talking about blackbirds and cuckoos they just look at you. I think this actually made them engage a little bit more in all the biodiversity that's available in the world and actually generated a bit more interest. So it was quite interesting to see how two different kind of species they're quite different how they work together in that kind of way. You have like some other animals, they're quite similar, but these ones are quite cool to work, see how they work. I really enjoyed doing the competition. We did it as like a homework project over a couple of weeks um, and it was really interesting because everybody got the chance to do their own ideas and develop them in a different way through loads of different styles of art. Um, well, coral bleaching is something I learnt about a few years ago and I've always thought it was very interesting how it's quite an unknown topic but it's affected by a lot, like, a lot of things affect it. We had a science module on bioaccumulation and that really inspired me because it was shocking how the tiniest things we use can amount to something so much bigger. And for the sushi, I thought common dish everyone loves is sushi and it contains fish. And humans are often described as being the top of the food chain. So I thought, what if something happened to us? What if we were affected by our own bad decisions? Um, I try to use everyday items. For example, polystyrene is visible in a lot of packaging. And bin liners, so many bin liners are wasted because half of them aren't re recyclable. All right, hi, um, I'm Ellie Armstrong. The level's okay? Yeah. All right, hello, my name is Ellie Armstrong. I was a judge on the Biomedia Meltdown in 2019. Um, this year I've been really impressed with the level uh, of participation and the work that's come out of the Biomedia Meltdown competition. I'm very impressed particularly with like some of the videos and also um, some of the three-dimensional pieces that have come in this year, so it's been really wonderful to judge. Thanks. Oh, I think there's some wonderful stuff. I really am impressed. I think some of the printmaking stuff is beautiful. Um, I really do. Art and science have become so disparate and they're not. They're so close and the thought processes are so allied. So it was very good and it's lovely to t talk to them. So full of enthusiasm. Uh, I originally did the Biomedia Meltdown project at my old school, which is Burlington Danes Academy, and I brought the project with me to my new school. Because it was so good at my last school and the kids loved it, um, it was a great way to kind of make them sort of look into different you know, ways of cross-curricular. Um, they won lots of really great prizes last year and I just thought it was such a great opportunity, too good to pass up on free workshops in school. Um, them bringing all their own resources in, especially with the stop motion iPads. We don't have iPads at my school and we definitely don't have funding to get them. So I really wanted the kids to have an opportunity to create something using iPads. They were really great uh, at delivering the workshops and explaining all of the science behind it and how to come up with their ideas rather than just making something that looks pretty. From the beginning of the two hour session to the end, they kind of understood more about the, the theory or the topic that they'd chosen to focus on, which was nice. Hundred percent, yes.